Hello everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain ATPMC and this is our Dual Sport Adventure Jacket Guide for 2020. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. Today in this video, we're gonna show you some of our favorite picks for Dual Sport Adventure Jackets. As many of you know, we lock thousands and thousands of miles on our adventure rides every year. We document those rides so you can actually watch those on our YouTube channel. But in this video today, we just want to show you some of our favorite picks, ranging in price point as well as technicality. And as we go through and we talk about these, leave your questions, your comments below. We want to get those answered. And remember, when we're all done to pick yours up, all you got to do is just click on the link or head over to RockyMountAntVMC.com. You can also there check out all the other dual sport adventure options that we do have. So without further ado, let's get to jacket number one. So to get started, jacket number one in the lineup is the Battleborn jacket from ARC. Now I've got Josh here who is wearing it. Josh is about six feet, two inches tall, just over a 40 inch chest. He's wearing a size medium. So use him as a size of reference. Always make sure you use the sizing guide. But remember, we know with adventure gear that fit is very important. That's why we have our fit guarantee. If you buy a set of adventure gear with a jacket, pant, boot, glove, helmet, if you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. Now as far as the Battleborn is concerned, we really like this because we actually designed it right here at Rocky Mountain. We have put this gear through its paces. If you watch our adventure rides on our channel, you'll see that majority of the riders are wearing the Battleborn gear. And here's what we love so much about it. While designing this, we want to have a really good blend of technicality, durability, protection, but at a very affordable price point, and that's what you're getting with the Battleborn. Price point on this jacket, you're about $200. And at that price, here's what you're getting. 600 denier shell, ballistic poly fabric over the top of the shoulders for better durability. You have CE rated armor and the shoulders and the elbows. Comes with a back pad included, but that's not gonna be CE rated. But if you look at the front, you've got multiple pockets. You've got chest vents up here at the top, bicep vents. You're gonna have exhaust vents in the rear, lots of reflectivity, plenty of adjustability. And also a unique feature about the Battleborn jacket you don't see on too many other options is in the back there is a hydration pouch. So if you want, you can pick up about a two liter hydration bladder and you can rock that with this setup. Now on top of everything that I just talked about, you're also getting the waterproof Z liner on the inside. You have a thermal quilted removable liner as well. And as you can see, Josh is wearing the matching Battleborn pant. The pant's going to run you about $150, so a great value there as well. So you can pick up the jacket and the pant as a full set. But if you're shopping for a rock solid set of gear at a very affordable price point, Battleborn from ARC is an awesome choice. So jacket number two in the lineup is the Off Track from Revit. Now with the Off Track, you're gonna bump up quite a bit in price. You're gonna be over the $400 mark. But there are some features about this jacket that we really like, and that will definitely distinguish it from the Battleborn that we just showed you. Now real quickly, let's talk about fit. This is important. With the Off Track, Josh fits for a size medium, and that's what he is wearing. And the chest and the shoulder area and the sleeve length He's okay, but you'll notice that the length of this jacket, Josh being six feet, two inches tall, he mentioned that he could use a little bit more length in the front. It does have the drop seat in the back, so if you are a tall rider like Josh and you want a little bit more added length to the jacket, you might want to consider going up one size. It does have more of that European cut compared to that Battleborn that we had just shown you. But with the off track, here's what I like about this jacket. Couple things that are gonna really help you decide if this is gonna be the best option for you. When it comes to warm weather riding, this jacket's gonna have a lot of venting. You're still waterproof with a removable waterproof liner. You have a removable thermal liner on the inside, but when the temperatures get warm, here's what I like. You've got these big vent panels right here in the front that go all the way around to the back. So this is all mesh. Now, the only thing to keep in mind is you can't turn these off. They're always gonna have airflow coming in, but you also have these massive vent panels right here in the chest as well. So when the temperatures get warmer, you can take the waterproof liner out, take the thermal liner out, and you get a lot more direct airflow to the body than what we showed you with the, the Battleborn gear. You're also gonna notice you have these large vents right here on the forearm as well. So venting, that is a plus with this jacket. Also, protection, you're gonna upgrade here. You now have the C-Flex CE Level 2 armor in the shoulders as well as the elbows. And on top of that, you're gonna have a pocket in the chest as well as the back. It's not gonna come included, but this is prepared to take the C-Soft chest protector as well as the back protector. So if you wanna upgrade and add more protection, this jacket will allow you to do so. So with the off track, here's what you wanna know. It has more of that European fit to it. When the temperatures rise, this jacket's gonna vent extremely well upgraded armor as well, so if that's what you're in the market for, then the off track would be a great choice. Next up in our lineup, we have the Latitude from Climb. Now, the Latitude, Climb designed this jacket specifically for riders who are gonna spend a little bit more time on the touring side. So if that's the type of riding that you're doing, 
Well, that's what you're getting here with the latitude. As far as the fit goes, Josh, we're in a size medium. Price point on the latitude, you bump up. You're in the mid 600s now, but there's a lot of value here. There's a lot of features that you only really get once you step up into that price range. First off, this is the Gore-Tex Performance Shell. So it's a laminated shell construction, guaranteed to keep you dry, guaranteed for life. But keep in mind, this is shell only. There are no insulated liners on the inside, so you need to have your own base layers. Some riders really prefer that. They don't have to worry about an insulated liner taking that out or putting it back in, but just something to be mindful of. But you've got that performance shell, 840D Cordura in those high abrasion zones in the shoulders here. You'll also notice on the elbows, you now have goat skin leather on the elbows, comes all the way down the forearm as well. The pockets on this jacket are actually really functional, some of our favorites so far. You got the hand warmer pockets, which we really like. You've got these pockets here on the, on the chest, which double as vents as well. And also, we got to talk about armor here because that's also a big upgrade with this jacket. You have the D30 T5 Evo XT armor in the shoulders as well as the elbows. It's a very high quality D30 armor. Also, you have the Viper Stealth back pad in here as well. So if you are shopping in the climb lineup and you're going to stick more to the touring side of things, you like the fit of this jacket, this would be a great option. But also keep in mind, you could, this may be a little bit out of your price range or maybe do a little bit more off-road riding on your dual sport adventure touring rides. You could also check out the Carlsbad and also from here you can step up to the Badlands Pro which is the next jacket in our lineup. All right, so to finish everything off, we have the Badlands Pro from Climb. Now the Badlands Pro is for the rider looking for honestly the ultimate when it comes to technicality and performance in a dual sport adventure jacket. That's who Climb designed this jacket for, was to go around the world and back. Now price point on this, you're gonna be around right thousand dollar mark, but there's a lot of technicality that you're getting here in the Badlands Pro. So Josh, again, he's wearing a size medium. If you look at the fit compared to latitude we just showed you, definitely a little bit more roomy in the chest and the torso area. But here's some of the key differences between this and the latitude to help you decide. First off, you're now getting the Gore-Tex Performance Pro Shell. It's a three layer laminated construction. And the big difference between this and the performance shell from the latitude is that Climb says this will have 25% more breathability. You're gonna have more pockets, more venting. So for more dual sport adventure riding, a little bit slower off road, you're getting more airflow going through. And on top of that, you can't overlook the durability that you're getting with the Badlands Pro. If you look at the shoulders and the elbows, they're using a fabric called Super Fabric. And honestly, when it comes to abrasion resistance, Super Fabric's hard to beat. It is that good. You're also going to have carbonite ripstop material here in those other key impact areas. And on top of that, you have the Climb Custom D3O Armor. It's their Aero Pro. It's going to offer more coverage. It's going to breathe better. You're going to have that in the shoulders and the elbow CE Level 2. And you also have the Viper Pro back pad in the back as well, which is also going to be CE level two. Now keep in mind, just like the Latitude, the Badlands Pro is going to be show only. And also with all that technicality that we just talked about, it does add a little bit of weight to the jacket. But the nice thing is, is that on the inside, they do have a kidney belt that comes included that will help support some of that weight as you're wearing the jacket. So again, if you're just looking for the ultimate as far as technicality, durability, and protection goes, Badlands Pro is going to be the choice for you. All right, so thanks for checking out our 2020 Dual Sport Adventure Jacket Buyer's Guide. Now remember, if you have questions or comments about any of the jackets that we talked about today, leave those below. We'll get those answered. And to pick up your next jacket or to see all the other jackets that we offer at Rocky Mountain, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATPMC.com. Remember, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you guys like this buyer's guide, we have it for all the major categories for Dual Sport Adventure riding, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that's going to keep you up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.